Hey everyone, I'm James from Park Cameras and I'm here with these two beauties, the Canon 2000D and 4000D, two entry-level DSLRs new to the market. And I'm here with David Parry and we'll be talking about these. Okay, yes, we've got two models here to show you. Um, so as you said, yep, it's the 2000D and the 4000D. Mm. Now, the, the 2000D, what this one does, this one replaces our 1300D. Okay. Okay, so we've changed the naming convention. Yeah. And then what we've done is we've got a 4000D, which is going to be sitting below the 2000D. Okay. okay. So this is the first time we've ever had a camera down at this kind of level. Sure. Um, so maybe we just need to spend a bit of time just talking about why we've done that, what this is about. So really what we want to do, we want to make SLR photography more achievable for people. We want people to really enjoy using these, these types of cameras with the optical viewfinder and this kind of thing. Mm. So we decided to bring this camera in and we've taken some of the bits and pieces off here that maybe people at this level wouldn't use quite so much. Okay. Things like the diopter and it's yeah. got manual pop-up flash and this kind of thing. Okay. Um, but it's still an EOS, which is lovely, in that um, it's still got like full manual control, aperture priority, shutter priority, this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, still got the fully automatic modes as well. So it's great for getting you started in photography. Um, if you're, as you mentioned earlier, like a student or something like that, we think this would probably be quite a, quite a nice camera to get yourself started with. Or maybe if you're just dipping your toe into this type of photography. You don't want to invest too much money, just in case maybe photography's not for you. Yeah. But this might be a good product to get yourself, like I say, dip your toe in and then just um, and then take it from there. Um, it's got an 18 million pixel sensor inside it. Okay. Um, it's actually still got Wi-Fi which um, yeah. I think is great at this kind of level to have Wi-Fi yeah, capability yeah. is really nice, which means you can control it remotely and all this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the 4000. Um, and then, as I say, this is the 2000, which is basically very, very similar to the 1300D. Sure. The main thing that we've changed on this is the most important part, which is the sensor. Okay. So we've taken out the 18 million pixel sensor mm -hmm. and put in our new 24 million pixel sensor inside here. So yeah, we've brought the image quality right up to date. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's very, very similar to the 1300D. Okay. That's great because it handles in the same kind of way. Um, you've got all the dials and controls as where you'd expect them to be if you're stepping up from, say, maybe 1000 or 1100D or something like that. Mm. Um, and something that's nice about this type of camera, again, is that um, if you're stepping up, if you're using this camera as your first stepping stone into photography, um, it's very easy then to step up to other products in our lineup. Yeah. Um, because the button layout is very similar, all the icons are very similar. You don't have to learn a new camera, you can make your way through quite nicely. So this one has Wi-Fi and NFC. Okay. So this one has Wi-Fi, you've got Wi-Fi and yeah, NFC so on here, okay. so if you've got... An, Android device or something like that, you can. Side. Yeah, 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 and it's uh, really quick and easy to do. Easy um, these, the great things about this type of cameras as well, um, compared to other other cameras that are out there, is the battery life. Oh, yeah. You get about 500 shots per charge right. on these, which is um, compared to some mirrorless products and this kind of thing. It's quite a nice benefit to have that that amount of shots. So if you're away from power all day long or whatever, um, you can um, you can yeah still be able to carry on shooting. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean. Do you get any more battery life, would you say, out of, uh, out of the 4000D over the 2000D, or is it pretty much still the They're same? pretty much exactly the same. The way that they, they both use their power is very, very similar. So yeah. um, I'd, I'd be surprised if you notice any difference in the battery life between them. Have, yeah. you, have you noticed something about the 4000, though? Have you noticed something unusual about the top of it, or the button on here? Yeah, yeah. Well, no colour for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The green square mode is yeah, gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, no. So, I mean, it is still there. You've still got the fully yeah. automatic green square mode, but it's no longer green. Once again, it's one of these things that we've done to, um, to help make this a more affordable camera. Um, yeah. Like the buttons on the back, you've got two tones. Of you've got two different colours here, and they're printed on the actual buttons themselves, whereas mm. this one, the, the letter type is actually printed on the body. Yeah. Um, and that just helps with, um, uh, helps with the cost. Yeah. Um, but what we haven't scrimped on, which I'm really pleased with, is the build of the camera. I still think it's a really nice build. It still does feel like an EOS. The yeah. shutter button still has a lovely definite click to it, mm. and the same with all the, all the dials and all the buttons. They all have that lovely EOS or Canon feel, as you'd expect. Yeah, so I mean, internally, very similar, obviously different sensor, but then externally, obviously, just a bit more budgeted on this one uh, and then with the uh, 2000D you know you're keeping the, the same classic yours features like the colored button for example <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you've got like so you've got three inch screen on this one yeah. and 2.7 inch screen okay. so there's a few few differences on there yeah um, yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you've got any questions give us a call send us an email or drop a comment below and we'll do our best to help you out